So much depends upon a red wheelbarrow, glazed with rainwater, beside the white chickens. William Carlos Williams was always a bit of an artist when it came to poetry, and I mean artist in the sense of Picasso, and we can really clearly say that in this poem, The Red Wheelbarrow, first published in 1923. It's one of William's most famous works. The first two lines say, so much depends upon this image of a wheelbarrow, but what's so important about it, we are invited to ask. It's thought that this poem is suggesting that so much depends upon the tools of work, the everyday items that people use to make their lives better, or even that it's commenting on mankind's relationship with nature through work and through the tools that he uses to shape and form it. The chickens would probably be in a garden or a chicken coop. Williams was a doctor and would often make house visits, so this is an image that he probably saw quite a few times, somebody keeping chickens in the garden. So does that have anything to do with it? So much depends upon the small things in life. Instead, I think that there is something else going on, and it is directly related to the form of the work. There isn't a single line with more than three words in it, and it's quite short and terse and very direct and to the point. So much depends upon a red wheelbarrow glazed with rainwater beside the white chickens. With the line breaks, which are really important to make note of, Williams is almost breaking the images down as he presents them to us, into their essential components. You couldn't have a wheelbarrow without a wheel or the barrow. You can't really have rain without water. So in that sense, is there something essential about chickens being white? Is whiteness an essential part of a chicken? No, that doesn't quite work. But I think the aim of this poem is to do just this is to break images down and to represent them as smaller concepts. Is this, the act of breaking things down to their smaller components, what so much depends on? Potentially. And what this means for any individual reader is really up to them.